Hello fellow geeks and hardware enthusiasts. Uh, this time around, I'm going to open up the reservoir. I'm going to use the EKX3 250 lit light and the dual D5 pump system. So I'm, I'm first going to proceed with the reservoir. You have uh, on the EK website three choices and 150 mil. 250 mil, which is this one, and you have the 350 mil, if I am correct, and you can mount it on top of the uh, dual D5 pump system. So it's quite well protected. So this is a reservoir. You have a little tube here, and what's included else in the box? You have a vortex uh, preventer that you put on the bottom since uh, this is going to be a powerful pump and you have going to create a vortex effect and you have some risers and some plugs an allen key and you also have a mounting mechanism so you can clip it I'm going to show you first how you can clip it. It's nothing uh, it's exotic, something you've probably seen around. So you just push it slightly and it clips. And you can use a screw here to to screw it. So we could go the other here. So yes. But my initial uh, Will was to just put it on top of the D5 pump. So I'm gonna put some time now to open the the dual D5 pump. So this is massive. So yeah, there's some softener here to protect it, some install an installation manual, and that's pretty much it, contrary to the reservoir which has a lot of accessories, this one is just the pump. So yes, it has a 4 pin power connector. And a PWM controller you can hook up on a fan, both sides. So this is your inlet. It's even written in. And here is your outlet. So the idea, as you can see on the EK website, is to mount it like that. Right? But as you can see, as you will see soon enough, there is a problem. So. In order, in order to mount it like this, without using a lot of fittings, EK has included this this accessory. Let me double check which is the orientation is necessary to put it. Yeah, it doesn't show actually in the paper. You have to tell it, download the uh, the PDF. I think it's a bit more detailed. So basically, what you do, I'm not sure, is that you screw this over here. Do not over tighten, never over tighten these things of course the plastic fitting is gonna break and you are gonna have a leak. And then you screw this reservoir on top like that. Like it. As you can see, there's a big issue with this configuration. It's not straight, it doesn't sit straight. It's really annoying. 
and uh, okay if you put it this way in your case so if I put it like that in my case over here I should be okay but then again I will have some clearance issues if I put it here I won't be able to put it here because where are the tube is gonna go and uh, yes so I'm pretty much in a tight position I have to have one tube come out of here and it's already blocked so even though when I initially bought it I was hoping for something like that or actually and if I put it the other way around you can see the inclination again also I won't be able to put it in this configuration since it's gonna block here I could turn the radiator the other side but this is gonna represent a big challenge in order to uh, drain the loop so the idea was, was to ease actually to put some valves here so I turn them and easily empty out the whole system and just uh, remove a plug from the top so in order to show you how bad the inclination is which honestly this is unacceptable for a product this price that's supposed to be top of the line if I put an, orth an orthogonal part here you can see how bad the inclination is I'm not sure the, this is if this is a manufacturing defect of he, or if every unit in the market is like that I haven't searched the forums and to be honest not many people went for and what bought this pump another thing I think is also unacceptable they could have sleeved the cables seriously and I think the other pumps they sell those cables are sleeved uh, I won't go sleeving it's too much pain in <coughs> to uh, to sleeve it so I might just color them or try to hide them as best as possible so yeah my my intention now is not to use the this fitting that allows it to connect it this way rather suspend the reservoir on top and maybe find a way to either mount it on the radiator or on the bottom on its own and uh, yes I'm gonna soon, uh, not soon actually in a week or so uh, and all the time you would need for me to uh, assemble the water cooling uh, build uh, keep you posted on the performance and uh, on the acoustics of it for now that's all Bye y'all!